being inspired is a very strong and powerful intrinsic drive that pushes an individual to explore different boundaries, different avenues and different opportunities that one may not think about. It also has, in being inspired, is also shown to have uh, a positive kind of impact on the level of productivity. It's also uh, you know, linked to being creative. It's linked to also being more open to newer experiences, to being open to, I think in the work setup, being more open to newer challenges and newer ways of doing things. Now, how do we get to be inspired? At times, inspiration is known to be an impromptu uh, process that it happens just like that, like an aha moment. Or it can actually be something that you learn from your surroundings, something that you learn from the people around you, uh, something that we uh, try to embody by seeing it in somebody else. Or it can be an impact that we have as individuals on the people that watch us, on the people that see us. So, what can we do to cultivate inspiration? What can we do to inspire each other at the workplace? And inspiration is also known to be a major intrinsic motivator, which I think always takes an individual far more ahead then depending on external motivators to engage, to essentially uh, do something as well. So how can we cultivate and how can we inspire each other at workplace? First is that do share and talk, uh, do share about your own experiences. The kind of experiences that you know upon disclosure can have a very uh, relevant can add a value to the other person that's listening to you. Second is that set examples, the kind of examples that has, a, let's say, even a profound impact on the other person or even pushes the other individual to do better. By setting a role, by setting an example, you also set ways in which, in, in which people can learn by observing you, by people can learn through observation and also try bringing that in into their own uh, personal way of approaching things. Another way to inspire each other is also to really fully engage and enjoy what we do. When you enjoy what you are doing and look at it beyond a task, look at a particular thing that you're doing as a task or as a target that needs to be completed, you also begin to enjoy the process you begin to look at things differently. There's an element of fun, there's an element of playfulness that comes with work that also at times adds to being inspired. Another one is to being inspired, be open to experiences, be open to challenges. When one is open to challenges and ready to take it on, even despite the little bit of, uh, let's say, anxiety that can kick in, which is absolutely normal, that is also one of the ways that we can be inspired and at the same time by embodying that aspect of being open to experiences, open to challenge, we can also end up inspiring each other at the workplace.